Hey guys, you getting late naked log home mom today. I have nothing going on here. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> which is rare for me. Um, I usually put on at least a mascara or something. So even my hair's not done or nothing. So I'm a little, and then I got log home dad over here videotaping me. So here, here we are. He's on Insta. Y'all look him up on Insta. <laughs> log home dad. So yeah, I'm here. I have nothing on this morning. I um, did some rose water on my face and then I was like, oh the heck with it. I got too much to do today. So maybe we'll do something later tonight. I don't know. Log home dad took me for a night out of Target shopping last night. Mm. Yeah, that was pretty exciting. Y'all, that's like to my heart. Oh. So anyway, I've already been out here. I've um, got all their goodies. For those of you that were watching me yesterday, Miss Cora had her egg <laughs> just a few minutes after I went in. It was hilarious. And um, so we came out and checked before we left and she had laid her egg and it wasn't nowhere near as big as what I thought it was gonna be. So that means we had six eggs yesterday, which was pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. However, then I come out today, cause you know, it does take an average of 26 hours to lay an egg. So I come out today and I've already been in here. Um, I have uh, cleaned their coop. I did around the tops and everything. I need to come in here with a shop vac and like really vacuum because a lot of dust gets in. If you have chickens, you know that there's a lot of dust from their pen feathers. They see all this stuff. You are teasing them. Lock home dad's trying to have the door open. But um, the dust from their pen feathers gets really bad. But I um, clean their coop every single day. We have a board that catches their droppings and it may not look the best when you come in as far as that board, but neither does big piles of poop on the ground. Um, and it really does cut down on odor and flies, bugs, anything like that. We rarely see a fly in here. Um, you know, the only bugs I really see in here are spiders. Earwigs. Earwigs, but they live kind of underneath. And the chickens um, love them. The chickens love them. When I open the door, that's where they typically tend to be, and the chickens go nuts over them. Um, but our coop does not smell like a chicken coop at all, um, and I really um, contribute that to keeping it very clean. We use sand in the bottom instead of uh, straw, which makes it... Um, very easy to scoop out any poop that they do just being in the coop um, and then that I mean it is and we do it every day so I think that's really the key is to being able to um, be in here and clean up all the time and you know it's good for your chickens it keeps down on diseases and it keeps the cleanliness on them but then the coop too and I mean the last thing you want to do is walk into a coop and the smell will just be overbearing so and you gotta think we live in Florida the high has been like 84 the last couple of days and it is so hot right now um, and we have two windows as vent and then lock home dad has a window up top which I need to um, not a window but a vent I need to vacuum I can see it's dusty but it gets really hot here. So for us not to have a big coop odor smell um, is really uh, commendable because it, it can get bad. I have been into some nasty coops, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm just amazed. Even when we go and collect eggs from a local farm, um, I mean, it's not really great conditions. You can tell they're not out there cleaning, and I really think it promotes the health of your chickens. Um, it keeps down, like I said, on diseases and stuff. So it's really important to be able to do that. Someone's saying, hey, oh, hey, Debbie, how you doing, honey? I don't have my glasses on my eyes. I told everybody I'm naked. I have nothing on today. Um, so yeah, it really does keep down when you are, um, cleaning your coop regularly. I think, I personally think it is, um, a big, but I feel that way with my home too. Like I just, it kills me to have dishes and just like, I just, but my coop is no different. Like I really want it to stay clean. And I think we do a fairly great job with that. And, um, I mean, log home dad has built it to where it's really easy for me to, I just have a little, um, broom that I cut down on the dust with, you know, there's some areas I can't get to, but that's, that's okay. I have to deal with that. Um, because that's the safety of our coop. Cause we have it, um, let me turn, we have it wired like the wire. The hardware cloth then so like I can't really get inside these windows and you know like in there and stuff but that's okay so um, that doesn't bother me too much but the inside of the coop is what really is is big for me so even though our board looks 
icky from the stains. Um, it cuts down on so much inside the coop. And I've seen people do slings. I don't know if you've seen that. It's like a sling that goes underneath their, um, their roost and they clean it like what once a week once a month or something that is so disgusting to me because i can't even imagine what that must smell like to have to take that sling out of the coop every week or every month and clean it because it just is just nothing but poop um so yeah and then we just use a scoop to get i just ordered a new scoop as a matter of fact to get anything that's in our sand um and we get the construction sand at lowe's log home dad goes and gets the, their huge what 40 pound what they're big they weigh more than 40 pounds. Uh, yeah. yeah, they're like... 120 pounds each or no, something? No, no. It's, it's like... I want to say it's a thousand pounds. Really? Yeah. And you get two of them, um, right, for in here? I think it was one... One? One, one fifth yeah. in here? So, and it's only like, what, 40 bucks? It was the bulk bag, yeah. Or not even 40 bucks. I forget what it is. It's not a lot. No, it's like 30, 30. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, and that will last us. Maybe it's only 800 pounds, something like that. It'll last it's like a, a year. Um, and then we don't have to worry about shavings. We don't have to worry about pine straw, none of that. And of course the diseases that come with that. And then the, I mean, you can't, you cannot keep that clean. I mean, it has to be changed out regularly. Um, and the smell is awful. Miss Cora, are you going to lay another egg today? Everybody was waiting on you yesterday and you laid it right after we left. Hey baby. She says, where's my food? Where's my food? So anyway, here we are. One egg today. But you know, my girls are late layers. Plus we had all six yesterday and it takes 26 hours um, typically for a chicken to lay eggs. Um, and if things are off, it takes them even longer to lay eggs. Um, you know, just, it could be stress. It could be weather. It could be, um, you know, just anything. It could be other the other chickens. So a lot can take away from them being able to lay um every 26 hours so we average about four to five eggs a day um we're go i think we are going to add a couple of chickens um in the spring so in a couple of months we'll probably add maybe three or four chickens to us we're going to go down to rural king and they have such a huge selection of breeds so we're going to get a couple of different cool breeds um that we've been wanting and so i think we're going to do that in the spring um, and when I say spring, I mean literally that's like two months away. So they'll be having the chicks like in two months. It'll, it'll be crazy. They might even be have, starting them soon. Um, and then let's see. So that way we will add a couple more. And it takes, it took us, um, one of our girls started laying right at what, 26 weeks. Like it was really soon. It was like, no, it was sooner than 26 weeks. That's, that's, um, six months. No, it was, um, Gosh, she, it was only like 12, 14 weeks. Yeah, it was real like, like 14 weeks. I think it was because it was really soon one of them. And it was so funny. It was that they were the tiniest little eggs when they started laying like golf ball size or smaller. And it was, I mean, you would need like to make a lock home diet omelet. I would need like six eggs because they were so tiny. And usually we, you know, we do like three. Um, but yeah, so, um, it'll take a little while, probably take a good six months for them to really start laying. So did you move their tray <laughs> so they couldn't see it? Yeah. So um, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, and y'all know our story of how we built the coop and log home dad. Um, I mean, he really, he t it took him a while, but um, he really built it the way we wanted it done. And so far we've not had any major issues besides the bobcat jumping on the fence. And that was like the first night or two, I think. Yeah. Um, and after that, we've not had any more issue. Doesn't mean we're not going to have any more issue. Um, we definitely want to put another layer on top of this hardware cloth just as a, just to keep them from like, if they were to zip through that, cause he got about 10 little slats of our hardware cloth and, um, just to keep them, if they were to come in, um, let's see right here. These are all broken all down through here and there was blood. You can still see some of the dried blood on there so there was blood all the way down and we're pretty sure it was the bobcat um but just another layer just to help them and not of this of like a 
what was it a one by two a one by two cloth so um, just something on top of this just to keep them from that first layer of being able to get through here um, and it'll be a little cumbersome but he can go right over top of this one so are they well that's because you sat their food right there where they could see it I was trying to draw them out here so yeah be trying to escape. all right so here we go today Look at log home dad sitting here. Tell me what, what to do. Don't you have some work to do? What do, what do we have on the menu today? <laughs> we have tomatoes. We have broccoli, squash, mango, and peppers. Nice. We got to go to the fruit market tomorrow to see our friends at the gardener's uh, fruit market and down to Winter Garden. Okay, Miss Miss Rose came right on out. She came right on outside even. Oh my gosh, Miss Cora too. All right, y'all. Don't peck me. Oh, my goodness. Impatient. Yeah, oh, and look at all the worms that fell. Doggone. <laughs> Miss Rose came right outside, you guys. She did, man. That was hilarious. She said, stop teasing me. No kidding. I need to come let them me. come out here and eat. They would. If you carry that tray back in, they'd probably follow you right back in, too. Goodness gracious. The whole bunch of their mealworms are on the ground here. The squirrels will come and get them. Yeah, some will get them. Tonight, I'm getting some of them, but I don't want to get grass either. That's Miss Anna's culprit. They're going to be happy when I bring these in, though. Little stinkers. Miss Rose. Love them some broccoli. Yes, they do. They love broccoli, which is really weird. Miss Rose, look. Miss Rose, right here. Miss Rose, look here. Miss Rose. Miss Rose, right here. Hey, come here. There you go. She is on it. She's got it. You get it, Miss Rose. I know, girl. Hey, right here. Right here. Right here. I know. Okay. She'll be okay. Mr. Mosley, come on over. Come see me. Hey, Mr. Mosley. <laughs> Y'all can uh, follow me on Log Home Mom on Insta, too. Um, Log Home Mom blog. And then log home dad, and um, we don't we don't tweet. This is about as big as birds we get right here. We don't tweet. We don't get in tweeter wars. No. <laughs> Twitter wars. <laughs> oh, Miss Rose is going to town. She's got this all by herself too. I know, baby. Hey, Mr. Mosley. Hi. What's up, Mr. Mosley? Miss Rose is all over here by herself, getting it all. She says, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. They're all yours, baby girl. <laughs> Miss Rosie Posey. Mr. concerned. He is concerned. <laughs> Show her the pepper behind you and she'll come back. I know. All right. I think we got most of them. Look what Mama's got. Oh, boy. Come on, Miss Rosie. Come on, Miss Rosie Posey. Look what Mama's got. I got more. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, Miss Cora. So I'm trying hard to keep, like, grass pieces and stuff out of here just because of Miss Anna. She'll eat anything. She's our junk chicken. And her crop is kind of full. I need to give her some coconut oil. Yeah. So I'll have to run in and do that. She's a piggy. She is a piggy. We have to literally push her back. And I think that's why her crop stays so full. He needs Mary. <laughs> Mr. Mosley's over there. Hey, Mr. Mosley. Hi, Mr. Mosley. And I ordered Isabella back saddle. Her saddle's about ready to come off. Um, 
probably in a week or two i'll take it off i just want to let her get some more pen feathers she has one little area oh, oh, oh miss mary went after mr mosley that was funny um i'll probably give her another week or two she has one little area that's a little light and i just don't want anybody picking at it <laughs> mr mosley goodness well i guess we better get inside i gotta feed log home dad now yes he gets some croutons next <laughs> and then we've got oh so much stuff to do i don't even know where to start mr carson's being quiet today yeah. all right y'all will you have a blessed friday and uh we will see y'all tomorrow on the chicken inn love you guys take care bye-bye